Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my budgeting savings and YouTube journey. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, today I am doing my cash stuffing. So we did our budget, we did our denominations to find out what we wanted to get out of the bank. So that's done. I did make some changes. You guys know that I decided I was going to start going to um, the grocery store or filling my grocery cart up ahead of time so that I know whether there were other things I needed to purchase, like toiletries. So there were, and I have the cart set up and paid for so that I can do my grocery pickup tomorrow at Walmart. So I spent some money out of personal and some out of household. I also spent some money out of my health envelope. So I do have to pull that from one of the binders so that it can go back to the bank. But these, the personal and the household expenses that I already spent, those have stayed in the bank and I've only taken out the cash for the remaining balance. So for example, to explain it a little further, personal, the plan was for $50 to come out and I only ended up taking out 48 because I spent two. I only spent $2 at Walmart. I think I bought like a eye pencil sharpener um, and that came out of personal. And then I spent $30 out of household. The budget was 35. So we have $5 left. So only $5 came out of the bank instead of $35. So I hope that makes sense. And then I just adjusted the numbers here at the bottom. So instead of taking out the $590 that we planned, we're only taking out 558 so I do have to count these and make sure that I have enough. I did not do that I did go ahead and separate them though And then I also ahead of time went ahead and started to fill out the categories the um, Sinking fund categories or savings categories that we're going to contribute to today So I did fill those out here. You can see that and we're also going to be contributing to some savings challenges today so let me show you what we have so far. We'll go ahead and do the stuffing and then I'll provide you guys with some updates along the way. Okay, so let's start with our binders. I'm gonna use this as my guide to remember where I wanted everything to go. So we're gonna start with our always fund because we always start with the always fund. So if you wanna know some more information on what that is, um, go ahead and watch that video. But it's very simple. It's just basically categories here that I contribute to every time that I get paid. I keep them all in here um, except for the home binder. So I made a few changes. I have some envelopes in the home binder that you'll see that I want to always contribute to as well. So we'll have to figure out in the new year if we're going to be changing where these are located. So we are adding to first Christmas of next year. Christmas for this year was fully funded and it has been taken out. So we're going to go ahead and add... $30 for Christmas 2024 and we're still deciding if we're probably going to go on a trip for this next year instead but I do want to have some money for in case I um, want to buy anybody here a gift and also you know I just want to save in Christmas so that we, whatever we decide if we decide to go on a vacation for, va for Christmas we can still pull it from the Christmas envelope. 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. So Christmas 2024 now has $85. That is a pretty good start to start the year in. And this is the last, I'm just gonna update my tracker. This is the last payday of the year. 85, last payday of the year. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about how this year went so far okay water is getting ten dollars that's for my water bill let's pull it first let's see how much we have so now we have twenty dollars so this water bill is due every three months so i end up saving ten dollars every pay period which is twenty dollars a month times three months is sixty dollars which is usually what the bill is Okay, next is pet. Pet is getting ten dollars. So pet now has twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 
$80. And surprisingly, she hasn't needed anything in a while. I do try to buy things in bulk. Like, I try to buy extra large litter and extra large food. Just so she doesn't run out and I'm not waiting until the last minute to add to it. $80 is pet. Okay, and subscriptions is getting $10. So these are for any yearly subscriptions I have or I'm planning to have $10. I um, have that Duolingo subscription that I want to buy for teaching us Spanish. We have now 20, 30, 40. Um, so I told my daughter if she gets a 60 day streak, then I will go ahead and buy that family subscription. 20, 30, 40. You do save some money by doing the annual subscriptions for most things. Because um, I think the subscription is $12 a month for the family plan. And then for the year, it's $125. So let's see. So you save a little bit. $20. I mean, every dollar counts. So save $20 doing it that way. And also I wouldn't have to worry about tracking a monthly bill. I think that's more important than saving the $20. That's a plus. Okay, subscriptions, $10. All right, now we're moving on to the home binder. There's the home binder. We're gonna put 20 in household maintenance. So I try to explain every time what this is for. This is for any uh, repairs that I want to do around the house. If I have like a, what is that called? What are those people called? Handyman. Handyman come and fix some things or paint or whatever. So that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So we now have 95 in there. Uh, let's just put it to the side. goals is getting twenty dollars this is for a lawnmower that i want to purchase for now i mean i think later i'll, I'll probably just keep reusing that envelope i'm not going to try to hold that open I'm probably just going to keep using that envelope um for different goals that i have to buy for the house 50 60 70 80 and i looked up to kind of try to price how much the lawnmower is and for a good one, they're between three and four hundred dollars. So my goal, actually, I think the good ones are like five, but my goal will be four hundred. All right, home goals. What else? Oh, gas and grocery. And here is getting some gas and grocery is getting twenty five dollars. So this is for if I am short in any of these. So, or any of these, there's only two. If I'm short in gas or grocery, I can pull these funds um, if I need to purchase anything else. You know, if we need more groceries and my budget is done for groceries, I can pull from here or gas. 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. This now has 90. I probably want this to have hmm, 200 to $400. I would say 400 because that's a month worth of groceries. I guess while we're here, we can do pet emergency because pet emergency, it, half of the funds are in here. And then I was doing a challenge to finish the rest, but 
Um, so this is where I was keeping the challenge to finish the rest for pet um, in case she has any vet appointments or needs anything in an emergency situation. So the goal for this in here, I think was 50 more dollars. Let's see. There's 80. The goal was 150. So 70, I believe. Yes. So 70. So I'm going to pull this out because we're actually going to add enough to finish this challenge. At least for now. And then if we want to do it again later for something else, then we can use this for that. So these add up to $70. These are just literally stickers that I got from a friend. And this little purse, I guess, was for... Um, came with a purse that I bought on Amazon. So some one of you had the great idea to make it a challenge. And I'm really happy you did because I really like that challenge. Um, I like that it's small and easy. <laughs> attainable. So let's count up how much we have for this. So far we have... 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have 34, the goal was 70. So we're adding $36 to this. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 110, 120, 130, Which is awesome because now we have, we should have 150 in pet emergency, which was my goal. So another goal down. We're just going to put that to the side because you know how I am with 50s. 20, 40, 50, 50. 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and 50. All right, $150. I might eventually revisit this. So we're just writing 70 on here because we're adding from the challenge. So 70, this is 150. So, like I said, I might eventually. Increase this. So for now, that's done. All right, now we're going to go into my daughter's binder. Actually, let's do the family one first. All right, family fun. It's getting twenty-five dollars. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred, one five, one ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. So this now has $120 for family fun. Family fun is just rotating. I don't have a goal for this one. It's just, let's keep some money in there in case we want to do something spontaneous. And since I'm in here, I know that health, the health envelope is in here as well. So I have to take out $10 from this, which it would have been smart to just leave $10 in the bank. I don't have a $10 bill in here, so I'm going to have to make change. Okay, that's change. And then $10. Okay. I hope I did that right. I know it's gonna mess my numbers up somewhere else because of the denominations, but that's okay. All right, so 
them out and have 15 in there. Actually, why did I put the $10 right there? The $10 needs to go into my wallet to go back to the bank. All right, so let me move that $10 because that's not where it goes. Let's get my back to the bank envelope. Here it is. This is the label that I found. This is the back to the bank envelope. $10. And I like to put on a little sticky so I remember what I have in here and why. So this will go back to the bank. Yeah, it would have been smarter to do to just leave $10 in the bank, but clearly I was not thinking straight. Now, electric savings. So we know, I did explain yesterday that I finished this remote savings. So I was saving for a remote starter and I was able to buy one finally. So we've been saving up for a while. Why am I doing this? We've been saving up for a while. We did end up saving $300, and that was exactly how much the remote starter was. It is free to do the install, so I would have been done with this, but they don't do it in my area. Um, girl, you already jumped up after Christmas. It's the 20th, not the 26th. Okay, focus, child. So I decided to still contribute $50 to this in case there are any incidentals when I travel to go get it done because I do have to travel an hour away to get it done. But I did the math and it was still worth it um, between the price and the installation to get it from them and somewhere else. I'm just hoping it's not a snowstorm that day. All right. All right my daughter's clothes is, it's only getting Actually, let's start with school. School is getting a dollar only to even it out because we added four from rollover yesterday. So now we're gonna have one. Well, let's see. Now we have 50, one, two, three, four, five. In case anything comes up throughout the year that she wants to pay for or purchase, I already took it out. It looks weird to put a dollar in here, but I wanted to even it out. I'm trying to keep them as even as I can, if I can. I mean, it really doesn't matter. All right, school, and then what other envelope? Her graduation envelope is getting $20. So graduation is about three and a half years away, but we are saving for that. $20, $150, So now it has $170. Um, and I'm saving for this as far in advance as possible. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna get her for graduation. But the more she has, the better off she'll be just to get her kick started with adult life with books or if she if I want to get her a car or whatever. She also has that savings account that I contribute $50 to every payday. All right, graduation school, her clothes. Clothing is getting another weird amount. It's getting $6. I think that's to make this even too. So now we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 100. And this also doesn't have a goal. This is just in case she needs anything throughout the year. Um, and I, wrong envelope. And I will probably um, keep this for, you know, school clothes and summer clothes. So we're just going to keep contributing to that one. Cool. All right, that's it for her. What else we have? Gift. Gift is getting $5. Which I did go over in my 
gift budget. So I definitely need to start contributing more to gifts because clearly I'm using it. It would, be, it would be better to have the money in here instead of using more from my weekly budget. So that's gifts. If the only thing in here that's getting any money, it would be a good idea to put the money in there. All right, that's gifts. All right, now we're moving on to the savings challenges. We have finished, look, we have finished Two challenges so far we finished this one this was for school clothes we finished this one this was for the this was for the first $100 of the pet emergency for any vet visits and this is the end of that so I am gonna be petty and finish scribbling this in Because I deserve it. Okay, and we're started on this. We started this month, so we're done on twelve twenty. Did I mark that on this one? Yep. All right. <laughs> So we're going to have to pick a new challenge, uh, maybe a, one with a low amount. All right, that's it for those. No, it's not. I still have the succulent challenge. Where's that? Succulent challenge. So we're doing number 32. That's where we are now. So that's how much we're going to put in that challenge, 20 30, one, two. And I think starting this upcoming year, I'm gonna try to start doing two, at least from the 26 and up, I'm gonna start trying to do two so that we can hurry up and finish this $700 goal. We've um, got the big, the larger amounts out the way. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so next time we'll be down to $30. I kind of like that this is going down instead of up. It's going down and getting easier. All right, succulent challenge. What do we have? This is our savings challenge binder. So we're at one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. We're at $464. update this while we're on sinking funds um, I didn't make any changes to the budget here I just put down notes to see what's left in grocery because at Walmart um, in my car I've already paid for it so so far we've spent about 178 I did explain before that for Walmart they hold a certain amount so I don't really know how much it is for sure I'm estimating that $22 is left but there might be more there more than likely will be more, but that's the estimate I use. I estimated about $220, $42 we use in sinking funds and in our variable funds. So about $178 was spent in grocery. Grocery budget was $200. We subtracted $178 as an estimate. So we're estimating $22 is left. Once I find out for sure, I put a note for myself here to move that remaining grocery balance to my main account. So my main account is usually only keeping the $80 buffer, but I want to put grocery in there just so that I can do the math easier if I need to buy more groceries out of that account. So I don't mix it up with the bill account. So that's that. I didn't change anything here because it's still the same budget. We just already used some of it. 
All right, and like I said, I did already add to these here. Let's see. Uh oh, my little puff. We'll fix that. Let's see how much we've added. Uh, let me update these first. So let's see how much we've added. I'm just going to add up the blue since the red was rollover and we've already updated those. So let's see. $232 from Payday and then... 34 I added in rollover 266 so we added a total of 266 so we started at 2270 plus 266 2536 for the sinking funds so these include that total includes these right here these are just standing amounts I'm not contributing to at the moment actually no, it's not. So we put $70 here, which makes that $150. So I'll add these all together so you guys can see. $665. All right, so and then for challenges 32 and 36 we added 68 dollars and this is available on etsy for your purchase if you would like to start tracking your savings for 64 and then this added up to 80 dollars 70 which we added so this is done the plant plant slash 50 hearts or whatever it was called tears this is done so we're done with this that won't be on the next challenge um, that won't be on the next section here in January something new will be there but it's now in pet emergency so we really just moved the total amount actually should I even put it there so we're just gonna not put it here so let's see 464 27 464 plus 68 is 532 466 plus 68 is 534 so it would be 534 but some of that is included in pet emergency. So I'm just gonna make myself a note so that I can, I'm gonna do all the totals and figure out what this is. So now we have 266 plus 68, 334. Let's see. So including rollover, we added 334. That should be in this section sorry 334 all right so 276 2736 plus 334 3070 let's make sure that's right let's just do it all Thirty seventy. okay the math is right. It is 3070. I went through and calculated all of these. So when I get my YouTube paycheck, which should be in the next few days, I can add um, anything that I want to add to the sinking funds here. And then whether I use or um, add anything in rollover, that'll go in this section here at the end of the pay period. And then we'll know how much our total is at the end of December and how much we've contributed. One thing I did want to show you guys is when I calculate how much I've saved for the first pay period of the month, paycheck A, so the pay period that we just finished, it was more than I thought it was. I think it ended up being like $600 that we contributed because we contributed to our sinking funds. We had rollover 
and we also contributed to our automatic savings. So there's that. So let me see if I can figure that out here. I feel like something's wrong though. I feel like there was more than that, but $5.98, just about. All right, it says $5.98. So I'll insert a screenshot of the math that I did earlier when I had all of my sheets together. So I think that's right. So the last thing I want to show you since that's all done is my um, variable funds. So these variable funds would normally go in my wallet into these envelopes here. So these were binder envelopes. I ended up just cutting the bottom. These are soul mama envelopes. So I normally would put, you know, $50 in gas or whatever I had budgeted, budgeted here into these separate envelopes. But for this experiment, this round, I'm not going to do that. We're going to this time take out these envelopes, except for the income one. Where is that? I need that to go back to the bank out over here. Except for this one, this one's going back to the bank. We are not using cash envelopes this week. We're just going to add this all up together and we're gonna carry it loosely, all willy-nilly. That's what I decided to do. So no categories this week. We're just gonna spend this money carefully, but we're not gonna restrict ourselves to categories. So if I need to spend $40 in gas, then I'll have more money left over for something else. If I want to spend more in whatever I choose, I'm not limited by envelopes this pay period. So we'll see how this goes. I'll check in with you guys for in a week from now and see how much money I have left. Hopefully it works out right. Hopefully. We'll see. 50, 100. I don't need, I don't need you. Sorry, honey. 120, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So we have $258 for the next two weeks. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. But oh, I need to clean this. But we are going to try it. We're going to try it. Um, I think it'll make me feel a little bit more at ease. I don't know, maybe in theory, it makes me feel a little more at ease because I'm not worried about whether I run out of money in one envelope and I want to use it in the next. I'm still going to have to be very careful with expense tracking, especially because I don't have the envelopes with the expense trackers on them. So I'm going to have to make sure that every time I spend money, I write it down in the app that I'm tracking money with. And I am, as soon as I do that, I am highlighting it with the category that I'm using. So I'm hoping this makes expense tracking easier. We'll see. Because I'm just taking it off the top instead of taking it off of these different categories. So we'll see. Wish me luck. That's it for that, for the wallet. So some updates. Someone asked about my interview. So you guys know... What is this a week ago? I think it was a week ago. I did have an interview for a new position at work. Um, the interview was not great. It was not my best performance. And I was talking to my friend and I think it was because I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to be, you know, something that was for me based on my experience because it's a different position that I, I don't have too much experience in. So I was a little nervous at the interview and I was nervous afterwards. So I had a follow-up meeting with my bosses today and they did break it to me. <laughs> so I wanna mention that I've, I've always, every interview I've ever had in my life, I always get the job. I always get the job offer. This time, I did not prepare well. Basically, I didn't get the job. Aww. So, but the how they broke it to me was, that there are people in our department that are applying for this position as well that of course are already in similar positions so they have the experience for this it would just be like a lateral move for them and also at my interview i did not point out the things that i should have they're like you have so much experience in this but because you didn't point it out in the interview or in the resumes we can't present it to the hiring committee 
as you should be chosen over everyone else so basically it was because of my interview and because of the way my resume is written it's written for an admin and not for this kind of position so they're like this is what we're gonna do for you because we know you would be amazing in this position we just if it was just us we would of course we'd, we'd give you the job but because there's a whole committee there's things that i have to prove to them so they're going to have help me update my resume and they're going to actually give me a a small role in this position to do um just to kind of experience and also experiment with to see if i like it and also to give me the experience that i can put on my resume so that the next time one of these positions opens up i can apply for it now i am actually let me bring you a little closer to this because i feel like i'm screaming up here I am actually okay with this. I am actually very okay with this. First of all, I really like my boss. I've said this before. I like both of them. I really like them. Um, she does not bother me at all. Like, I have work to do. She doesn't even, she doesn't bother me at all. She knows that I do what I need to do. I basically give myself assignments of stuff I need, I know need to be done. People email me for requests, whatever. I basically have full control over what I do. I also get to work from home two days a week and I make my schedule. So during the week, I can decide what days I want to go to the office and what days I want to be home. I also get great benefits and we did get that automatic raise for everybody. So I am making a little bit more money. Stop not making what I want to be making. But also I am eligible for the pension that we have in October of next year. So I don't have plans on leaving at this point. I am considering going to school, but I will say this time, a couple years ago, if this happened to me, I would have had a fit. Like, of course not to them because I'm never trying to be unprofessional, but I would have been probably a little depressed about it. I would have been sad about it. I probably would have cried about it. <laughs> Feels dumb now, but I would have been looking for a new job immediately. I probably would have put it in my two weeks. It's not hard for me to find jobs, especially in the admin admin kind of field or medical assisting kind of field because I do have a degree in that but I would have had a fit but because I like my job and I like my boss and because of the way they presented it to me and because of the self work I've been putting in I was upset about this for 10 minutes literally 10 minutes and then I sat down and focused on all the good things that are going on in my life also I am a strong believer is it strong firm firm believer in everything happens for a reason not only do i think everything happens for a reason i do believe that i am aligned with either god the spiritual realm realm whatever you want to call it when people say i am blessed and highly favored i really believe that i really believe that everything that happens to me happens for a reason and that everything is aligning with things moving in an upward and positive motion even if i don't understand it in in the moment like for example, my car accident this year, I was devastated about it. I went for a month without a car. I didn't know what I was going to do. But so many positive things came out of that. Not only were we not hurt, I was paying attention while I was driving. We weren't playing any music. So I was able to hear it and get out of the way enough in time that we weren't hurt. Because if I did not hear and pay attention, we would have been severely hurt by the way that accident happened. Um, so that's a plus. I got a car that is, it's a year older, but it's better. It's an SUV that I wanted. It's nicer on the inside. It's in better condition. And um, I got a good deal on it. And they paid off that other car. So, so many good things happen out of it. So I am very happy with the car or the SUV that I have now. So that situation alone, and there are many things that have happened to me that I don't always understand in the moment but after i get over my whatever i need to get over i can always reflect and find the positive in it so that alone was worth this interview process that alone testing myself this kind of tested that and i am able to reflect and see how much i have grown and i am very happy and at peace with where i am and where my life is going so this was, I don't even consider it a setback. It was, my friend was like, you didn't even really want that job. He was like, I could tell by the way you were talking about it that that wasn't something you were 
100% interested in. But mm, I was, I am, and I still think I would be great at that job. But I gotta, you know, pay my flowers. I don't know what that's called, my dues. <laughs> I got to put in the time and the energy and the work, which I am never afraid of. So that's that on that. So that's the update on that. Yeah, I, I feel good about it. I have, I am not concerned in the least about it. I am, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't feel bad about it at all, which is really surprised me after I got over it so quickly. I think they were expecting me to be like hurt and sad about it, but. My day went on like normal. I was still my happy, positive, laughing, joking self. So, yeah, that alone, being able to reflect on that and and see how much I've grown is actually a plus. I feel really good today about myself. <laughs> so that is it. That's the whole question of the day is what is your biggest financial mistake that you've made either in the past or just this year? How about both? Tell me one financial mistake that you've made in the past that you can give it someone advice on and one that you've made this year. For me, the mistake I made this year would probably be not starting cash stuffing sooner. Like not paying attention to my budget sooner, not paying attention to how much I'm getting paid sooner because I could have evaluated things a lot sooner and fixed things a lot sooner, but that's okay. That's okay. We are growing. We are progressing. Like I said, it is not about perfection. It is about progression. I said that backwards. I like to mix it up on y'all. Not on purpose. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for your comments and for your love and for your advice. And I just hope and wish and I hope for this peace for everyone. Like, honestly, to I have done so much self-work. I read books. I listen to podcasts. I listen to motivational speeches. I self-reflect, I meditate, and I have come so far, like, just being positive and trying to look for the positive, keeping, like, quotes around me, and absolutely eliminating the negative people in my life have all contributed to it. But I'm talking too much. All right, that's it, y'all. Happy saving. Bye. <laughs>